Hello people the web and YouTube, Tip Care, welcome to Polybus. Anyway guys, today's game is more or less a creepy pasta than a game, cause in rumor or in legend I should say, this is a game that's supposed to exist on an old arcade machine, but when in actuality it, it never really ever existed, so yeah, today guys I'm gonna be playing a game that released in 1981. Which, by the way, is not true, keep that in mind. And also, if you haven't heard of this game by now, it's really flashy in terms of colors, so you may want to leave today's video now if you're prone to seizures, but yeah. This game is supposedly a mindfuck kind of a game, um, when you play it. It's supposed to look like a normal retro kind of arcade game. But the farther you get into the game, the more crazier the game gets, okay? So yeah, other than that, I don't really know much more about it other than that it kind of just flashes words every now and again on the screen. Like, as you can see now, like, you could never pull this off on an old arcade machine, but this is what the game wants you to believe, that this is something that has happened. And if this happened back in the day when I played arcade machines, man... I would have flipped out, okay? And are we good? Game? I can't tell if the game became sentient of my existence and decided to just say fuck you, but why are you lagging like ass? I mean, if it can lag this bad on my computer, how, how in the hell did it ever play in an arcade machine, you know? I don't know guys, but I think I may have actually lost the game, cause I think what it says right now is high score. I don't really know, but I'm gonna turn my lights back to orange, sorry about that. Um, I think I may actually have to crash the game and fucking reload it, are you kidding me? God damn it, Polybus, this is a game I've been wanting to do for like months by the way, so kind of forgive me if I seem a little bit pissed because I haven't tried it at all till now, and if the game doesn't actually work, I'll be super sad, because I was kind of looking forward to playing this thing, you know? But, it looks like I have to crash it, sadly, so, you know what, guys? Um, I'll meet up with you when I got the game back up and reloaded, okay? Okay, guys, I got the game reloaded, and I think we're gonna be okay this time. As long as I hit the key before the main menu pops up, I think I get to play it. I don't really know. I think if I don't hit the key fast enough, the game kinda, like, gets, um tricked or something maybe like and oh i can cheat i read the instructions i can in fact give myself coins to play the game so I, so what i was thinking was maybe i needed to give myself a coin to play and yeah i was right holy crap i can actually play now guys it's a goddamn miracle now this is what you're supposed to be seeing what you were seeing earlier when i think i broke the game was like the fail screen the game letting me know how you fail, this is just a, uh, I don't know, a cinematic for you to watch or something. And now, I don't know what it's saying, but I am getting the weird creepy pasta messages on the screen. Like, the game is trying to hypnotize me here, but it's failing, because I can see the damn message popping up, you know? So it's not too subliminal, but I know it's there, you know? And I don't really know how long this goes on exactly, like... Do I just keep shooting this thing till I die, or what? I think I did it. Oh, it just kind of restarted. Um, there's a six. Am I supposed to get the six? I don't know. I hit the six. I'm up to 23. Guys, if you can figure out anything on what this game is trying to say to me, let me know, because I'm honestly curious. Is this game trying to, like tell me something here with these images these images that are flashing or is the game just trying to like mind fuck me into thinking that it's trying to tell me something it seems like um in a really weird way it seems like if i were to take screenshots of every image that flashed on the screen and put it together i should be able to read them maybe and i think i just saw a face that time Okay, that's weird, but also, guys, this game is now out on PS4, if you did not know that, like, well, it's a VR remake, it's not the same thing, they wouldn't be allowed to 
hide subliminal messages in games anymore, but I still thought it was cool just to mention it, so if you don't have a computer but you have a PS4 and a PSVR, you can get the same kind of like what the fuck experience from the game off that, I'm pretty sure, so I still haven't played the VR version of this, but whenever I get it, I will definitely make a video on it, but I'll probably wait till I get some decent screen recorders maybe, and oh this is an 8. Didn't get the 8, I don't know how I collected all the other numbers, but apparently the game didn't want me to have that one. What about this one? Oh, I got that one. Alright, so I'm down to 4, it's definitely counting down. So there must be something to this, like am I supposed to be adding these numbers up till something happens maybe? Oh, come on. Oh, I can spin it! I'm not actually moving, I'm moving the spear? How am I doing that? Oh! Okay. Now, guys, like, you know I was saying this game could not exist on a... on an arcade machine? This part of the game actually looks like it could exist on an arcade machine. Did it just say, never surrender? I mean, that'd be a good subliminal message if they gave me that. I wouldn't mind some positive positivity in my life. Come on, game. Alright, I don't know if I'm doing better or worse. I feel like I definitely lost a life or two. But I also feel like the game's acknowledged me as a player. Like, something definitely happened here, and I don't know what. Okay, I'm dead. No, okay, I got one life left. Just into the abyss. Hardcore balls into the spears, come on. Oh. I don't know how I win this, by the way, so forgive me if the commentary is a little bit crappy. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing, okay? But yeah, guys, who knows? Maybe one day when I figure out what the hell I'm doing in this game, I will come back to it. But I think if I die here, I'm gonna leave today's video off. Because it's already going to be a nightmare to edit, and I'm not even sure if I'm recording it anymore. With it crashing twice and all, but... Yeah, like, I gotta say, for a really weird arcade-like game... It's pretty damn sweet, like, it has a lot of mystery, and... <clears throat> excuse me, and I hope that one day the mystery gets solved, like... I've seen a lot of Game 3 videos for this game... And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are onto something about this game. Because most people already figured out now it don't exist, it's fake. But, like, what's it trying to portray? What message is it trying to send is what I want to know. Like, with all the messages flashing on the screen, like, is there a reason for it? Or is it just to paranoid the player? I don't really know. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it in the recording, but there are like so many flashing and messages, it's about to drive me mad. Because I want to know what the hell they mean. And oh, it looks like I lost. Game over, huh? Is that really game over, buddy? I hope it ain't. That would suck. Better not be game over. I'll give you a game over if you don't do something. Push fire. Alright, I pushed it. Oh, I had like 13 lives, so the game's just gonna restart. Never mind then. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave today's video off here on Polybus or Polybius, however it is you want to pronounce it. But just know this, even though the game gave me issues, I gotta say, I really overall enjoyed it, and I especially really enjoy the lore based on this game. Like, there's so many arguments about this, whether or not it exists or whether it does. And I gotta say, I could honestly care less. I just like the whole idea of an arcade machine that may have existed at one point and then just got completely erased from the universe, you know what I mean? Even though that couldn't have physically happened, you know? But yeah, anyway, like I said, I'm gonna leave this off here, but if you want me to come back to this when I get a grasp on what exactly I'm doing, I will, but for now, like I said, I'm gonna leave this off here, DTPK, signing off, peace. After we entered the mirror. So this is an after thing, this ain't in Linda's head. But yeah, this is the messed up part, you took a life away. Sure it was by an accident, but I'm sure some-